Well, the last competency in the Resilience at Work model is rebalancing commitment. And it's almost like tying a bow on the top. And rebalancing commitment is your capacity and your willingness to embrace change, um, to uh, adopt new habits and practices, and your perseverance to prevail in any circumstances. And what I know to be true is inside of any organization, big or small, it's critical that employees inside of that organization have an ability to be agile, adaptive, flexible, so that no matter what comes their way, they can stand firm. Yeah, I completely agree. We've done a lot of changes and risk taking, I believe, in re rebalancing commitment here at San Diego Zoo Global, particularly in, in branding. We've, uh, in recent years, we've completely rebranded our organization. We've changed our name after 94 years in existence. We have changed our name to San Diego Zoo Global. And the idea there was to let people know that we are, yes, we're a zoo and we've been a zoo for many, many years and we continue to do that, but we are much more. And we're a conservation organization, which many people did not realize. So we took a risk in doing a total name change of one of our parks, of our look, our logos, our name, our, our brand, to really educate folks that we are a conservation organization. We have research projects on every continent of the globe. In over 35 countries, we have field projects all about saving, uh, uh, saving endangered species from extinction, which is our vision. So I would say that is one risk that's really paid off for us uh, very well. So one of the things I believe to be true about resilience, Tim, is that it requires courage. Yes. You know, to be resilient, you have to have the courage to challenge the status quo, to break new frontiers, to innovate, to, uh, to take risks, as you said. And I believe that that is exhibited very well inside of San Diego Zoo Global. This is a very courageous organization. I would agree with that, yes.